I think at its most basic level, the reason why it's beneficial to consider a career or major in public administration is because it really ties directly with public policy. So people love to talk about, you know, what is this going to do to impact the community? And I think that our politics, especially over the last few years, have kind of sharpened our focus on things, whether we like it or not. But when it really comes down to it, a lot of it deals with how things are implemented. We can talk about, you know, what happens in the Senate or the House at the state level or the federal level, but what ultimately makes that happen, what ultimately makes that come to pass is public policy. And the field which gets, I think, most directly tied and linked with how those things go from being an idea to being something that is on paper and impacting a community, no matter the size, is public administration. And that can be for good or bad, but oftentimes, I believe, in public administration, people get involved and people want to work in this because they want to help their communities. And so if that is something that interests you, then public administration is definitely a field you should consider. I think part of it, honestly, is um, see if you can find internships or, or shadow people who are already working in those spaces. So um, is there an opportunity for you to intern for um, your local government, the city of Kansas City, city of Raytown, city of Grandview, city of Westwood? Um, that can be one way to kind of get into the field. Um, another way is joining groups like um, the Young Government Professionals. Those are groups of folks who are already working in those spaces and are beginning to kind of get that experience. And a lot of times they're happy to share that with people who, who might be interested. Um, the other thing that you can do is begin to watch um, things like city council meetings and, and begin to understand, you know, what is it that is often being explained when people are considering policy is not just, you know, the, the intended outcome, but the specific actions that need to be taken in order for something to go from the paper into the reality of a community. Again, I was involved with the young government professionals, specifically the ones um, who worked in the federal government. I did a little bit of... Um, participation in that group. But the other thing that I did was I was involved with the, um, I, I was an intern at um, the Department of Housing and Urban Development. So that is the, the federal entity which deals with housing issues. And so I, I got firsthand experience um, about how federal policy works its way down to the local level, um, be it in terms of the distribution of uh, community development block grant or CDBG funds in terms of dealing with homelessness, whether it be with issues like the point in time count that happens or in terms of some of the um, partnerships um, that have been formed to try to deal with homelessness on the local level. And so that really helped me to kind of see very clearly, you know, these are the things that are happening within policy, within public administration that are helping to try to make an impact on these very important, very long-standing, very pressing issues for a place like Kansas City. So I think that the classes that I took helped me in two key ways. So the first one is, is in terms of the content of the classes itself, it really helped you to be able to figure out how to work in that space. So what's really good, I think, about block school is that um, having a lot of those kind of hands-on opportunities to do projects involving organizations in the community is beneficial because you really do get a sense of applying the stuff that you're reading in the books to your classes. And that is something that I think really helped with setting me up and being able to kind of take off after after I graduated was I knew what it was that was going to be expected of me, what sort of content people were looking for, and ultimately how that could impact local policy. And I think having all of those things together 
combined with my own intern experience made me a good candidate for um, the first job I had out of out of um, grad school, which was working at the Oberlin Park Chamber of Commerce, and then later on, and currently, at Bidewalk KC. The other quality, the other reason why I think it's, it's beneficial and the classes are important is because oftentimes you're sitting side by side with folks who really are in these organizations. And I'll give you a perfect example. So I had two classmates um, when, in various classes when I was there, um, Eric Rogers and Maggie Green, um, both really nice folks, and they both were in the nonprofit field as opposed to me, who was in the urban policy field. Um, urban policy emphasis. So what ended up happening is I, I was friends with them, I worked on several projects with them, and I kept in contact with them afterwards. When I went to apply for Bike Walk KC, Eric and Maggie were two of the three folks who interviewed me. And they knew me, they remembered me from my time at UMKC, and I really do think that that is a part of the reason that I was able to get my foot in the door is I had worked to make those connections that ultimately paid dividends when I needed to have that opportunity. So, so don't only work to understand the content and apply it to whatever projects it is you're working on. Really do try to build relationships with your classmates because you never know when you might get an interview and be sitting across from that person and that really can um, make the difference.